hi welcome to a new video series with the name of Codediliat in this series I will be talking about different topics related to software development in this first episode I will be talking about how you can create your first video programmatically using FMPAC so let's get started First of all, we should know what is a video. A video is just a sequence of images or frames that are played at different rate or frame rate per second. It's simple as the flipbook animation that you can see here. As you can see, in we are flipping the book page. You can imagine the page as a frame and the speed of playing them as the frame rate per second. As simple as. That. Second thing that we should know what is a video encoder. A video encoder does convert that sequence of frame that we talked about before to a video format that we already know, for example, mp 4 movie. A video encoder uses a specific algorithm known as Kodak to be able to determine which part is important and which part is not, and through that we will remove unnecessary parts from the video without affecting the quality. Video. Third thing that you should know, what is a video decoder? A video decoder just gets the video encoder data that we talked about before and convert it to a playable and streamable video that can be played in a screen or monitor. Fourth and last and most important thing in this video is FMPAC. FMPAC is just a command line tool that can be used to do all the different video manipulation things, for example, converting a video to a different format, resizing it, create a video from scratch. Because FMPAC is just a command line tool, it can be used with any programming language of preference, but even with that, we have some SDK to be able to help with development. For example, we have a Node.js SDK, we have a PHP SDK, and also we have a version for in-browser editing, which is a WebAssembly version that can be used for in-browser editing. The first task that I will be doing using FMPEG is just converting an MP4 video to the MOV video. Start with our video task. We should install FMPEG first. We should go fmpeg.org and click on download and install in your operating system I will install it in macOS using homebrew so you can just open up your terminal and type brew install fmpeg if you are using macOS I already have it installed so you can just make sure it's installed by running fmpeg and if you see something like this it means that it's running and install it in your operating system so first of all I will head to directory so in this directory, I have videos MP4 as an input video. So I will copy the script, which is this one. As you can see here, we have fmpeg, which is the name of the command. Dash I will stand for input, and we will supply the video input path, which is on our directory in, in the same working directory. So and dash C, which is stand for copying the video and audio stream, and you can just pass copy, and it will copy the audio and video stream to the output video dash f which is stand for format and there is different format supported by by fmpeg and i just passed mov format and for the output file it will be just output file path i will just pass it as output dot mov which is the, with the extension that i would like to convert to i will run the command so as you can see here the command has been run so I will open the input video so we can check the input video first. Which in our case, video.mp4 is this one. After that, I will open the output video, which is output.mov. And here is it. We convert a video from mp4 to this mov without affecting the quality. The second video task that I will be doing in this video is converting 16 9 aspect ratio video to 960 Instagram video aspect ratio. And so I will get started by checking the command. So I have an input video which is video.mp4. So I will open it so we can see. It's the same one used for the convert. So I will run this command which is similar. So we have fmpeg which is the name of the command. Dash I stand for input and the video pass. Dash VF which stands for video filter and we will be using the scale filter. We will pass 
the Instagram video resolution which is 1080 by 1920 and just supply the output video file path so let's run it again and here is it so we have the final video so let's play it as you can see here, this is the output video and it's just like a resizing the video to the new aspect ratio and it's filling the screen and does lose the quality of the video so i would like to make it better and to have the same original aspect ratio of the original video so let's run the script so we have similar scripts so we have fmpeg dash i video dot mp4 vf which is the scale function but in the scale function we will add another another attribute which is for original aspect ratio and specify it to one and when setting this attribute it will respect the original aspect ratio and not fill the screen the other thing that i would like to do is add some padding in the top and in the bottom of the screen and make the video in the center so i will add some pad with the same video resolution of the output video and i will the x and y position using some predefined ff and just supply the output file so let's run it again so we will play the same video as you can see it fits the video in the screen and add some black bar in the top and in the bottom of the video which look much better and also keeping the video in their original aspect ratio and last video touches i will be doing in this video is creating a video from scratch so this is the command so we have fmpeg dash f which is for format and we'll be using lib av fi which is like a virtual input device and we will supply dash i which is set for input with not like a video path but some attributes i will set the color of the background so it will be set to black s which which will set the resolution of the output video and d it will be the duration of the video in second after that i will add an attribute which is vf which is video filter draw text enable gtt to which is will like appear make the make the text appear after two seconds it's like a transition and we will set the font size to 30 the font color to white and also x and y position use some fmpeg predefined value and add the text attribute with code with Elias as the text and just specify the output this on p4 for the output video path and let's run it so i will overwrite it and here is it we have the output video and it's like a five second duration and it's black and it will just display code with Elias after two seconds also fmpeg come with some built-in tool for example we have ffprop which you can be used for getting some metadata about the video for example the frame rate the encoder the duration the video resolution and other stuff related to video and also the audio also we have ffplay which will let you to play a video from the command line using fmpeg player so that's it for this video if you find this video useful don't hesitate to leave us a comment in the comment section with your feedback about this video and also some idea for future videos you would like and also don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for future video so thank you so much